What's up, guys? MXB Vibes here. I just want to say I hope your day has been good. I hope your day has been filled with love and, and positivity, and I genuinely hope things have been going your way. If you're new to my channel, I make spirituality, self-improvement content, things that make you think, right? Things to improve you 1% better each day. I wanted to talk about a subject that's not often discussed within that certain space, which is forgiveness. And I understand why. Before I begin, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I've, I've been getting so much love and attention and I love to just hear your opinions down below what you think. Even if, if you disagree with me, I would love to hear why and you know, I don't mind going back and chatting and it's just, it's just been great. So thank you guys for all of the love and support, but forgiveness, forgiveness, I think is one of the hardest things to transcend. One of the hardest things to uh, move on from yet. It's so simple in theory in practice harder. What does that look like? What does forgiveness look like? It's, it's very different. Um, uh, to each person, albeit everyone should go through it, not move on. See, moving on and going through it is two different things. So usually forgiveness involves another person. Most times it's, it's, it's another person. Sometimes we have to forgive ourselves for certain things, but for the most part, it's about forgiving others. Whether that was a toxic relationship, whether that was a job that was exploitative and didn't care for you, whether that was friends or family members that, you know, did some shitty things to you, whatever the case may be, we come to a point of forgiveness. And when you talk to people, they say, just move on from it, right? I think that's one of the worst things you can do. One of the things I've, I've learned in so much shadow work is that if you don't, not only forgive yourself and forgive the other person and you just move on from it, it's going to come back up. It might come back up now. It might come back up in 10 years. It's going to come back up. And because these emotions are, they can be buried deep inside of us. But what I'm saying essentially is when you just move on from something and you don't go through it, you don't allow yourself the emotions to feel it and process it and go through it and you just move on. I think it's detrimental in the long run. More often than not, when we try to forgive our ego, our super ego likes to come in and we start to point fingers. Yes. This other person might've been toxic. This job might've hated you. I mean, these this, uh, families or friends might've hated you or, or did something uh, to you. Your job might've been again, exploitative, but we point the fingers and we say, Oh, it's this other person's fault. It could be, but you get people in society right? We all know this person. I'm guilty of this myself. There's things in our lives that six months down the road, a year down the road, three years down the road, 10 years down the road, it can still feel fresh. Things that have happened to us. And you, you get that when you talk to people, they, they still bring things up in their head. It's like, and it, and it feels fresh to them, right? They can feel those emotions rising back up. Why is that? Why think about that? Why is something that happened six months, a year, five, 10 years, still fresh, right? It's because you didn't process it. It's because you didn't regulate the emotions. You didn't allow yourself to feel it. Most times when we do decide to move on, we quickly replace it with a distraction. You ever notice that? Like, that's why it's so big when people get out of relationships, they quickly, I'm guilty of this myself. We I said, we, yeah, we quickly, um, cause I've done it before. We find something else or find another person to feel that. What is that? That's not processing, processing the emotions that's getting a distraction in your life, right? A job fires you or somebody did something at work and you just quit. You immediately go find a new job, right? You might move across the country, whatever the case may be. You find something to distract you because we don't want to face our past. I mean, rightfully so. Like, man, when people do something to us and it really hurts, like that's deep. 
That is super fucking deep. And it's not easy just processing it. It's easy to move on. It's not easy to process it because processing it is heavy and you have to sit with yourself. You have to sit and, and really allow yourself to feel it and really forgive yourself first and forgive that other person, job, place, whatever it may be. And I get it. I get it. We don't want to feel uncomfortable. That's what it is. The uncomfortable bug is not, it's uneasy. It makes our palms sweat. It makes us, right, tear up. It, these emotions just rush up in us. And it's like, no, like, I'd just rather move on, cut them out of my life, and, and just be out with it. But again, it's going to come back up. That's why I think it's not necessarily talked about in this space as much as I think as it could be. Forgiveness is not about only just forgiving this, this entity, this thing that happened. It's about forgiving yourself because yes, you can forgive them. Right. And you can say, I moved on, but did you really move on? Did you, did you really move on? Think about that for a second because this is a clear, a clear sign that you moved on. When that place, job, family member, uh, ex-girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever the case may be, when that name is brought up, how do you feel? Say three months go by and somebody else brings it up or a memory comes up of it. How do you feel deep inside? Don't lie, don't lie to yourself. How do you feel? Do you feel... Oh, like, do you still feel that anger, these emotions that you had when it happened? Right. I'm, I'm not telling you to gaslight yourself. I'm not telling you to negate your own emotions. Uh, I'm <laughs> quite the contrary. I'm telling you the adverse. I'm telling you to actually feel those emotions. Don't negate them. I'm telling you to feel it so you can process it, so you can move on, so you can go through it. Right. And you can't do that if if when it comes up every time you just push it to the side and say, Oh, I moved on from that. I don't care about that. N not really. Temporarily, yes, with distractions, but not really. What they don't tell you is that if you do not forgive, right? I've talked to some people that, close friends, you know, um, that have said, these people hurt me, they're family members, and they've told to me, I'm not going to forgive them. I want them to know that they hurt me. I want them to know that they treated me like crap. I want them to know that they've done that. And it's like, yes, I get that. I'm not telling you to jump back into that job, career, uh, family member's life, ex's life. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it's going to come back up. And if, and if you hold those emotions inside, that's when people just blow up because it's so much pent up aggression. Again, what they don't tell you is that Forgiveness is really about you. It's like I said in one of my videos last week, it's not necessarily what the situation that happened, it's about how you respond to it. And forgiveness is, is energy, right? Because everything is energy, right? So let me, let me delve into this topic. Energy, forgiveness, right? energy chakras right no matter what your religion is no matter what your spiritual background is we all have energy channels we all have energy within us and forgiveness comes from your agya chakra right here right front of the head and also the back of the head it governs what humility compassion the state of awareness right it's also colorless it's silver right when you hear people talk about the third eye pineal gland this is it right here the agia chakra and it also holds your ego your super ego right your ego which is your thoughts your future planning your super ego which is your emotions your memories it holds them in there and when you don't forgive it's harder to like it's harder to manifest things if your energy is not aligned. Think about it. 
right? Awareness, right? Think about it. Think about the things you want to manifest, right? They appear in the mind. Well, if your pineal gland is blocked and your energy is off because you can't forgive your past, you can't forgive your family members. No, I'm not going to forgive them. My my mom treated me like crap. My parents neglected me. I'm not going to forgive this, this ex-girlfriend. No, man, like she cheated on me, this ex-boyfriend. He did this, man. Like he was talking to multiple women. He had a wife. I'm not going to forgive this job. They treated me like crap. They didn't care. I get all of that. All of that stuff is real. And I'm not saying to negate it, but I'm just saying the reason you can't manifest things, the reason that the things are not going right is because of forgiveness. I'm serious. You have to let it go. You have to let it go. I'm only going to give you one piece of practical advice, just one, that has helped me tremendously. My best friend back home, uh, Louisiana, we talked the other day and it helps her as well, has helped her. Whatever the case may be, whatever hurt you, whatever was toxic, I advise you to get out a piece of paper. The length of how much you write this is not, um, doesn't matter in this case, right? Um, get the piece of paper, write out, and you only keep this to yourself. You don't have to give it to the entity or whatever happened. You just keep it to yourself. Write a letter to that person, place, thing, event that hurt you, telling them how it hurt you and telling them that you forgive them. Actually write it out. It could be five pages. It could just be a page. Write it out. Look in the mirror and say it. Read it aloud. Say such and such. You hurt me because of this. You hurt me because I felt like this at the time. I thought that I was being reasonable and you did this. You went behind my back and this and this and this and, you know, you, this job exploited me and, and you know, I, I worked so hard just to be fired, just to da, da, write things that might have happened in your life. Write it out, say it aloud in the memory, uh, in the mirror, memory, in the mirror and be done with it. Be done. Once you read it, let those emotions flow, whether you cry, whatever it is. Right. Let those emotions flow. And once you read it, keep the letter to yourself. That's one piece of advice I can give you that has been profound in my life. I've done it a couple of times and it has really helped. If you don't want to write it out, you could also say a, vo a voice note um, and keep that again to yourself. But hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, hey, this, hey, that this is how it went. And, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't work out. Da, 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 but, you know, I forgive you. I truly do. I know that it happened, but I want to move on from it. So I'm just letting you know, I forgive you and I forgive myself. That's it. That's it. And again, like I said, it's, it's very profound. It's helped me multiple times. I've had to use it because the thought of just forgiving somebody was so hard that, I mean, it was so hard that this was the only way, right? Because sometimes we go no contact, right? We cut that thing off completely and, and move on. And so we can't really just, it's not practical to reach back out and be like, hey, I'm sorry. No, like, or hey, I forgive you. You don't have to do that. But just send it to yourself in the mirror. It's just, it's going to help you. So that's all I wanted to say. I know forgiveness is hard. I know it's sometimes, again, these emotions are so strong that you don't want to forgive that person because you want them to know how bad they hurt you. You want them to feel what you felt. Right. You want them to feel that. And I get it. But if you want your energy aligned, if you want to manifest things into your life, if you want to move on and actually move on. Not just hiding in the background. Right. Not just under the cover. Right. It's almost like. It's almost like you're lactose intolerant and. You drink this old cup of milk that's been sitting out. You don't really know how it's going to affect you inside. You just hope, again, it's like moving on. You just move on. You don't really know how it's going to affect you later on. You don't know if it's going to digest. You don't know if it's going to sit with you. It doesn't digest, right? That's the thing. When you move on and you don't process these emotions, you don't allow your emotions to digest properly, what happens is you get a fucking stomach ache with the milk and similarly to the forgiveness, it comes back up and those emotions come Right back up. And 10 years down the road, you're wondering why 
you still feel the same way about this person, ex place, person, whatever. And it happened 10 years ago. That's why. So that's all I wanted to say. That's enough rambling. Thank you guys for watching the video. I would love to hear your opinions below. What do you think? Um, have you had to forgive somebody in the past? If you did, how did you do it? How did you regulate your emotions? I would love, even if you disagree with me and you feel as though you shouldn't have to forgive, that's okay too. I would love to hear it. Um, so drop it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Peace.